Today, the National 9-11 Memorial Museum is being dedicated in New York City. ABC's Taman Bradley is live at the Memorial in Manhattan right now with more. Good morning, Taman. Good morning, Allie. There it is behind that reflecting pool. 10,000 artifacts, more than 500 hours of video, a fitting tribute to a day this country will never forget. It's one of the largest memorial museums in the world, and it opens to the public next Wednesday. Today is the dedication inside the museum. Remarkable artifacts. You see clocks and watches frozen in time, a mangled fire truck, the uniform worn by the heroes, the first responders. The, mu the museum just doesn't house artifacts. It is an artifact. The bedrock from the World Trade Towers is in there, as well as the survivor stairs, an escape route used by hundreds during the attack. On the walls, plaques and screens show how 9-11 unfolded minute by minute. The dedication is at 10 a.m. The President of the United States will be here, as well as the family members of the victims. Back to you, Allie. And Taman, we know some of the victims of the families were opposed to the museum. What were their concerns? Well, certainly the cost, the price tag was $700 million, but a lot of people were concerned about how you remember the victims. But it's, it's touching the way they did it. Inside is a tribute screen. You see the photo of all of the victims, and you can actually click on the screen, and it gives you information about them, tells their life stories. It's very moving, Allie. All right, Taman, thanks so much. And I know those families are going to get a chance to tour today.